This is its max speed. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's slower than a crawl. But that's because it's, it's built to be robotic or autonomous. You're not going to have astronauts on board. You're not concerned with time. You're more concerned with performance and power consumption. Um, theoretically, this would be running off of some sort of probably the nuclear or solar power source. So you only have a little bit of energy to use each day rather than, and now we're just running off batteries. So you want to be able to maximize that to get good torque. It's geared so it goes very slow, so it gets high torque. And you're less likely to get stuck. If you're going really fast and you don't have as much control, you're going to more likely to get stuck and you can't climb as well. So uh, that's how it drives. It steers. Another way to kind of limit some of the power is not having steer motor, steering motors on there. So the stink steering. But what really allows it to climb very well is these shoulder joints right here. I don't know if you guys can see from that angle or not. So from each tire, there's like an arm that comes together and it's a joint right here. And you have this actuator. And by extending it, you bring the front and rear tires closer together. It allows okay, that is really freaking cool. So you can, one use might be to we'll go over a big rock or obstacle or something like that. And much more ground than this. Now if you want to drill into the ground, you can lower your body to the ground. You need better stability. Not go all the way, but you can go, you can basically sit all the way on the ground. Now imagine you're climbing a steep slope, like the 25 degree slope over there. You could go straight up it, or you can go at an angle. If you go at an angle, you're probably not going to want your vehicle to be up upright, or you know, even if yourself, imagine yourself climbing a slope uh, by foot, you're not going to stand upright. You want to kind of get your body down low. This vehicle can basically do that too. You're essentially leaning into the slope. I wish our tractor it had done that. It allows your center of gravity to be much lower, and it also uh, distributes load more evenly along the tires, so you have four tires working together rather than two tires kind of driven. One more really cool thing uh, I want to show you guys too. Are there lasers? So those actuated shoulder joints allow it to do what we call inching or inchworming. You kind of have to visualize how an inchworm moves. Yeah, so it, it locks one segment in place, moves the other, then locks this first segment in place, and, um, moves the other one again. Oh God. So this vehicle can do that too. Right now, it's got the back tires in place relative to the ground, and the front tires are moving forward. Yeah. Now, the front tire is locked in place, and the back tires move forward. You might wonder why you would ever want to do this because it takes twice as long to get anywhere, and that's true, it's very inefficient. But it's great for getting out of stuck situations, like actually driving in here. I get the vehicle stuck driving normally, I switch to this, and it climbs up no problem. And you can climb slopes better because you always have. Two tires kind of planted in the ground, pushing or pulling the vehicle, instead of all four tires spinning or slipping or getting stuck. So it's it's not something you would want to use all the time, but it's a very nice feature to have as a backup, kind of like those tires, you know what I'm saying? You put them on backwards, so if you get stuck, you can get out. Same as this, you get stuck, you can switch to engine and get out. And some of the other vehicles that NASA has designed incorporate something similar to this, but it's something that we've been studying. Um, it really does work very well. Well, you guys have any questions? Yeah, I do have a question for you. You know, NASA and the Glenn Research Center are dedicated to education. And there is actually an education seminar going on in the cafeteria today as we speak. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your education for the benefit of the people here? Sure, absolutely. So, um, I went to Ohio State and got my undergraduate degree there in mechanical oh, engineering. Sorry. <laughs>